We're out here at the Valley Farm. Over here we have some of our tree nursery. And our team has been here this morning. And uh, we're going to be going out to our fields to transplant them. Trucks have arrived at the field. Uh, the trees that we have transplanted, uh, you can see we've put an old bed liner in our Chevy truck and we've loaded all the trees that we've pulled out of our nursery into it, put a little moisture in there and keep some burlap up against the roots there so that these are kept nice and moist. And then we head out into the fields to do the transplanting. So here we are out in the fields. We've got uh, we got Farmer Joe. <laughs> How we doing, Joe? Doing good. Doing good. good. So here's where we've had somebody has harvested a beautiful tree here overlooking our pond this past December, and uh, so now we are digging a new hole, and we'll transplant a tree into that hole. Make sure that the soil is packed in around it, and then afterwards we'll do a little activity with some wood chips. Well, today we are planting our trees in uh, an area we call the Old Barn Cellar. It's uh, also known as Tree Block 6. You can see that this area here is divided into 6FW, known as 6G. So all of the sixes are known as the Old Barn Cellar, and that's the Old Barn Cellar there the uh, original barn location for the farm was located over there. And uh, we're out here doing some transplanting and we got farmer Will Jones here today. How are you doing today, Will? Good morning, morning, Tom. Uh, so uh, we're out here doing some transplanting. This is an activity you've done for a number of years. Decades. Decades, actually. <laughs> Decades of planting. Terrific. So I uh, back a little bit. I, I watch more than I Well, you know, I coach I, and I check. You, you render your experience and knowledge to all yeah. the, uh, the young staff. So uh, in the sixes, as we call this block, also the old barn cellar, I see that we've got some uh, trees that guests have uh, harvested this year. And you can see uh, the stumps because there are signs that some has been action there at Christmas time. Sure, no sure. More tree. So no we, more we, trees. No more trees. So, so uh, you've come out here with your team to uh, evaluate the block and uh, and mark, spot marked as we call it, where we want trees yes. to be transplanted. Yes, we've marked uh, almost on the stump, but just a little offset. So we have a good uh, row, good rows. And Terrific. Now, that, that, so that keeps the uniformity through the field as you can look in this tree block here. Yes. You have some trees that are maybe just two years, three years old, some are that are five, maybe seven. Um, so there is quite a variety as we come into a tree block uh, that is existing. Now, sometimes we might go into a tree block and, and what we term renovate it, where we'd go in and, and really where we clear cut and sometimes we even pull the stumps out. But mostly we do interplanting where we have access to the customers, the cut your own customers. Okay. Uh, we have remote fields where we cut clear cut uh, trees um, for uh, yard supplies, for the pre-cut trees in the yard that we sell. So when we get to a field where there's uh, maybe just a few trees left, We'll cut those out to bring into our yard for pre-cut trees for yes. people who don't want to travel out into the field. And that'll allow us to actually manage the field to do a renovation to really maybe change right. the species. Maybe it was a, a blue spruce block and for whatever reason we now want it to be a, a cane and fir block or something. Yeah. So. And we're trying to uh, enhance, amend the soil with mulch so it makes it a lot easier when you clear cut the field to bring in the machine to drop mulch. Right. I, I see that in a, in a interplanting here. We have some mulch, but down along Route 110, <clears throat> guests have probably seen those big piles of wood chips that are sitting there for a couple of years and composting. We can come into a field with a, a couple bucket loads of that, spread it out nicely and amend the soil. That helps uh, retain moisture around the, the plants, uh, and it also uh, suppresses weeds as well. Right. And it adds to the soil. It 
Yeah, just makes new soil. Uh, so that's uh, keeping with our credo. Be good to the land, yes. and the land will be good to you. All right. Terrific, Will. Thanks so much. Thank you.